Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. Olá a todos, bem-vindos ao meu canal. If you're new here, my name is Vilma, and today I'm reviewing the Drops of Youth from The Body Shop. So I've done several reviews on different lines from The Body Shop. I will list everything in the info bar below, along with other brands that I've also tried in the past year to two years, like Bobbi Brown and Clinique. Everything will be listed there for you guys. Now, fun facts about my skin. I have combination to oily skin. I have in large pores. Um, my skin has the tendency to break out, but I don't break out all that much. Usually is more like hormonal. So I had a breakout very recent, quite large one right here and one on this side as well. I have fine lines and I'm 41. So my skin is aging. So I tend to look for products that don't cause me to break out, which are for sensitive skin, uh, products that can minimize the oil production and also to minimize my enlarged pores. I don't fully believe in primers, so I really rely on my skincare to give me a perfect base for my everyday life, whether I'm using makeup or not. The first product we're going to talk about is the Drops of Youth Gentle Foaming Wash. It retails for £9.50. It carries 150 ml of product and it comes in this plastic container with a pump. I really, really do like packaging like this. Now the description on the website, it says that this is in an enriched formula with plant stem cells, our instantly foaming face wash upon rinse off leaves skin feeling fresh and replenish. The youth enhancing formula thoroughly cleanses the skin without drying, leaving your skin feeling smoother, softer, and renewed. And that is exactly what it does for my skin. My skin feels soft, it feels cleansed. Um, I don't feel like this product um, removes or strips anything from my skin. It just enhances what my skin already has, but my skin feels very, very cleansed. Now I tend to use two pumps of this. And as you guys can see, I'm nearly down to half. I hope you guys can see that from the viewfinder, uh, from the camera better saying, um, but I do use it every single day, morning and night, and it works amazing, amazingly well. I would highly recommend this if you have sensitive skin and if you have acne prone skin because it does not strip anything from your skin. It has a very light, faint scent. It's not overwhelming and it works really well for my skin type. And I think it will work for normal to dry skin as well. So it's definitely one of my favorite products from this line. Next, we have the Drops of Youth Liquid Peel. This retails for 18 pounds. It carries 145 ml of product and it comes again in a plastic bottle with a pump, which also locks, which is great. The description says that this is a liquid peel that exfoliates and gently peels off impurities from your skin lifting that skin cells and residuals infused with a blend of three plant stem cells. This revolutionary gel to peel leaves skin clean and purified from the day's pollutants. Now, at first, when I used this product, I wasn't entirely sure what to expect because I always use regular exfoliators but I was really amazed by the second time I used it. The first time I could see that it was making my skin bubble up and my skin did feel cleansed and it felt really smooth afterwards. But then I tried it three days later and it didn't bubble up as much as the first time. So the first time it really removed all those dead cells and skin things that I, have, I had on my skin. And the second time it was only between that day and the third day that it had to remove. So it didn't bubble up all that much. I noticed that my pores look a lot more refined since I started using these or this product in particular, and it does work. It may not work for everybody, or you may think it's just one of those products it's just the product itself feeling, but it's actually lifting impurities out of your skin and your skin will feel different. Not stripped, nothing like that, just different in a very, very good way. So this is a product that once it's finished, I'll definitely buy again. They have, I think, another two in their lines, which I may check out after this one, but really impressed with this. Next, I have the Drops of Youth Essence Lotion. This retails for 15 pounds. It comes in a plastic bottle and it carries 160 ml of product. The description, it says this is a product with infused 
blend of uh, three plant stem cells. I feel like all of them have the same thing. This unique gel to water lotion instantly replenish skin with moisture, an essential first step after cleansing. Skin feels smoother, softer, and prepped for the next steps of your skincare routine. Now, if I've not mentioned before, this line is 100% vegan, so it's awesome. Um, and it's also dermatologically tested and non-commodogenic and it's supposed to be used on a daily basis. So if I haven't mentioned that. Now, lotions like this, or they call this lotion, I use this more as a toner um, because you need to tone your skin after you cleanse it, okay? To add a little bit more moisture into your skin. And I do really like this. Again, it's a gel to water type of texture. It's different, I've not used anything like this. My skin feels moisturized. It doesn't leave a sticky feeling on my skin. And again, it adds that youthful glow that we lack when we get over 30 and over 40. This definitely adds that onto your skin. It's very similar to my Bobbi Brown. Let me just pick it up over here. Hydrating face tonic, but this one is a lot more liquidy and this one is more like a gel to water type of formula. Obviously the price is completely different but I have been really, really enjoying this and I feel like it's going to be a really good product for me to use in the colder months. So the next three products I'm gonna talk about, I use them at different times of the day. Two of them, I only use them in the evening and the other one, I use it during the day. So I'm gonna start with the evening products. This one right here is the Youth, sorry, Drops of Youth Bouncy Eye Mask. It retails for 18 pounds. It comes in a plastic, I would say plastic or maybe glass container, and it carries a 20 ml of product. Now this product, it says on the description that it can be used at night um, as a mask or an overnight type of product to really hydrate and leave you looking with really young eyes the following day. Um, it smells, again, very similar to the rest of the products and it looks green like this and it's kind of like a bouncy gel-like formula. Now, I tend to use this every other day because it's supposed to be a mask, so I don't want to use it every day. Um, but I am not entirely sure if I've seen any difference in my eyes. I still have the fine lines that are there. They've always been there. I don't feel like my eyes look more awake. However, I don't really suffer from severe dark, dark circles, but I feel like my eyes also look brighter. It could be because I drink a lot of water or it could be because of this product. I am not entirely sure if it's something that I would repurchase once it's finished, but I use it. Um, I'm just not entirely sure if it's actually working on my skin. So I have two samples from the Drops of Youth Youth Cream. This retails for 22 pounds. It carries 50 ml of product and I will put on the screen a image of how the packaging looks like. It says that this is a velvety air whipped youth enhancing cream infused with three plant stem cells, addresses the first signs of aging with a refreshing lightweight texture. Skin is left feeling smoother more supple and refined with a youthful looking bounce used daily as part of your drops of youth skincare routine. Now, I already use two of these. Um, and one thing I like about this, this product is that it's quite rich. Um, I don't think it's a product that I would use uh, during the day. The reason being it's quite rich. So I feel like this is more targeted towards somebody of a normal, to dry skin. If you have combination to oily skin and you apply a very rich moisturizer underneath your makeup, you will look oily. And I'm so scared of using products like that because this doesn't really say, it doesn't really say for what type of skin it is, but I feel like it's quite rich. And the lady at the store actually said I could use this at night, which I did. And I've noticed that the following day, my skin was not oily, which is really, really good. So I do really like it. Not 100% sure if I'm wowed enough to go and purchase the full size uh, because I love my Bobbi Brown products and I'm still using them. So at the moment, I feel like I'm going to skip on buying this in the full size packaging, but I do really like it. So if you want something rich to use at night, which is natural, I would highly recommend this. 
or if you have normal to dry skin, I think this will work for you really, really well. Next, we have the Drops of Youth Concentrate. This is a serum. It comes in a jar, a little jar over here with a pipette and it carries 30 ml of product retailing for 26 pounds. Now on their description, it says that this product targets the first signs of aging with our youth enhancing concentrate. This refreshing gel like serum is infused with three plant stem cells that leaves the skin feeling instantly smoother and replenished with moisture. Now, I absolutely, absolutely love serums. I've spoken about that so many times on my channel. I find them important, essential for my skincare routine because they target several, several layers of your skin, whereas your moisturizer, day moisturizer or evening moisturizer is not going to do the same. This type of serum does that. Now, I find that the scent from this line is very nice. I didn't mention anything before, but um, this one also smells very natural. It's like a faint scent. It's not very, very strong at all. Um, I find that I use, if the pipette is completely full, which I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to just go inside. I don't use a full amount that I have here. I find that this is way too much. I use half of that and I just spread it all over my face. And when I feel like the product is starting to get tacky, I just pat my skin with this product. I leave it to sit for about five minutes before I apply my moisturizer or anything else that I'm going to apply after this. And my skin does feel smooth and soft, and it does have a little bit of a glow but like a natural glow and you can see it on the high points of your face, like your nose, the cheeks, this product does that. Have I noticed a difference? I've been using these now for nearly a month and I've noticed that my skin is a little bit smoother and a little bit clearer. And I notice also that my fine lines appear a little bit more refined because my skin is moisturized. I have dehydrated skin and that's what causes fine lines and I find that this product does a great job. Um, I will be comparing in the future different serums. If you guys are interested in that type of video, please give this video a good thumbs up because I feel like serums are so, so, so important. I do really, really like this product because it makes my skin feel great. Um, I use it day and night and I absolutely love it. And my last product from this video is the Drops of Youth Emotion with SPF of 20. It carries 50 ml of product and it retails for 22 pounds. Now the packaging is glass and it comes with a pump which locks, which is great. Now the description says, this effective yet ultra light daily emotion helps protect against pollution and damaging rays and enhance skin's youthful appearance. With an infusion of thyme and bodea extracts, not too sure how to pronounce that word, um, and a broad spectrum coverage using UVA and UVB filters, this hydrating formula helps reduce the first signs of aging for a more refined skin texture. Use as daily as a daily moisturizer or in addition to it. So you can use this alone as your last step, or you can use it together with another product. Now, I really, really want to love this product, but I have a problem. I have combination to oily skin and I feel like this product makes my makeup move around. It makes me look oily by the fifth hour, like I really, really need to pat my skin. And the foundations that I use at the moment, like my Bobbi Brown uh, Long Wearing Foundation is for combination to oily skin. The foundation from Fenty Beauty Although, sorry, there's something flying over here. Although it's for any skin type, I feel like it works really well for us girls with combination to oily skin. But this product makes me look very oily. I don't feel like my makeup looks terrible by the end of the day, but when I blot, I can see a lot of transfer and I can see a lot of oil, like a huge amount of oil to be honest with you guys. So I feel like this product is not something that I would repurchase. I still think it's wonderful, but I would only use this in the colder months when my skin is really lacking moisture. That's when I'm gonna reach for this product. I have been using it religiously, but one or two days this week, I tried using my 
uh, moisturizer from Bobbi Brown and my skin was not as oily. So I know for a fact is this. I don't know if it's the SPF that's in it or it's just that rich that it makes me look oily. I do really like it, but it's not a product that I would probably repurchase for myself, but I will be using it until the end. Hey, Bobby. Hey, I'm okay, you? Okay, okay. Um, let me know when you're, I don't know, should I leave in about 10 minutes? What I'll do is, um, I'm not sure which way we're going to go. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll say in about 10 minutes, yeah. All right then. Yeah. Okay. Right, Bye. Bye.